you will say your your blood pressure was 120 by 80 who said that my blood pressure cannot be like your blood pressure her blood pressure each one of us has different blood pressure i'll give you an example you are not old at all somebody asked me how old i am i said i don't know if you ask me when i was born i know but i don't know because i don't want to think about it. each time somebody says hey you are you know in the plane and all they sometimes now they don't say hello uncle is <laughs> you feel a little bad <laughs> this elder me very call me an uncle you will <laughs> but then i say now he must be i don't you are as old or as young as you are the problems of old age are not because of the age because your children are not with you and they don't look up remember that i've been talking to old people when i was a student in england also i once had a lady she had a book so many problems but her main problem was with the heart she had heart failure and she was our waiting patient but she had drugs from every doctor every specialist she had over 18 19 20 drugs one day i was talking to her she said young doctor do you know my problem the government is not helping me the government is spending thousands of pounds of their taxpayers money for supplying me these drugs i don't want any another tell the nhs to give me a ticket to australia because my only son has been in australia for 30 years has not come to see me if they give me one ticket to australia if i can see my son my breathing will be all right i had tears in my eyes what is the elderly people hi papa hi mom and he probably you know in the western side he come with a wine bottle in christmas and say hi pop hi dad and then come next christmas you have your people with you you love one another i tell you you don't have any disease at all i have seen this in in practice i have a family in, in manipal these children are all three children they're all phd's from stanford the big jobs in america they left all that they said our parents have become old we will come back they came to manipal built another floor on their house and started a new company where they're doing very well but they are with their all the three sons three wives their children in one house father and the mother the father was very old he had an illness children said no hospitalization and they said sir you just give us some advice we will look after it they did four hours duty 24 hours by alarm clock one brother will sit four hours round the clock next brother will take over the assistant now will take over another assistant now will come 24 hours they kept him alive for eight months without a single tablet and without going to the hospital and he died a happy man talking to his old people today what happens you are in the intensive care unit which is health in short it is health but intensive care unit is the one that gives you money american audit showed 90% of the hospital profit comes from keeping dying patients in the intensive care unit for 10 days bombay people think a healthy individual is one who is not properly investigated if you want to know there's a book read this the last well person what's the book's name the last well person it's a beautiful book this is written by a professor in america professor i'll tell you the name hang on comes it comes it just can't come like that smart i i'll tell you everything his name is nortin n o r t i n adler h a d e l l e r okay you want to know who is the publisher random house now if you can read this book professor hadler will tell you there is nobody called a well person at all you are a healthy person by my definition you go to a doctor you will be declared ill because what is normality in medicine do you know average average is called normal this is statistical medicine you will say your your blood pressure was 120 by 80 who said that my blood pressure cannot be like your blood pressure her blood pressure each one of us has different blood pressure i'll give you an example we have one varma who started the uh, nim hands in bangalore he was the founder and director of nim hands whose blood pressure always is 90 by 40 and he has been seeing me for number of years for treatment i said look ningal endin you will be you will live for 100 years why are you worried about it and he operates for 12 hours standing he is about 90 years now even now he is a consultant and mahatma gandhi's blood pressure was 240 by 120 who was not getting sleep sushila nair 
you read Sushila Nair's biography. She was worried that the old man will, uh, you know, kick his bucket any minute. And he died of hypertensive complications. That's a bullet from Portsy. What does it mean? We are not averages. I'll give you a much more mundane example. What is the normal uh, Indian height for men or women? 5.4 plus minus 2. This is called median plus 2 standard deviation. That's a statistical jargon. You know what statistics is? There are three kinds of lies. Ordinary lies, which ordinary people like you and me speak. When the phone rings, you don't want to take it. You tell your wife he's eating. Then super lies is politicians speak. You see George Orwell's animal farm, he says, they will give respectability to murder. They will use, they will solidify the air and they will promise a bridge where there is no river also. That is super nice. Then the third is statistics. You can make anything to anything. You give you same bio data which our friend uh, Basu read. If you give it to some good lawyer, he will say PM Magda is the first criminal who must be hanged before that trick Kasab or whatever. But if you give it to Basu, he will say PM Magda is so good that it must be given Bharat. Both are possible. Because what is statistics? You dredge it, you sharpshoot it, you mix masters. And there's a beautiful book called Science Without Sense. That is statistics. You want the author, madam? Stephen Milnoy. The author's name is Stephen Milnoy. And the book's name is Science Without Sense. And the publisher is Cato Institute, Washington. Right down. 1000 Massachusetts Avenue, Washington. DC 2001.